Tanishka, also known as the Moon Woman, with us, talking a little bit about her work and her new book. So welcome, Tanishka. Nice to have you with us. Thank you. It's lovely to be here. Good. And um, first of all, I wanted to find out, how did you come about by the name of the Moon Woman? How did that come about? Well, it's not a title that I gave myself. In fact, you know, part of me feels a little bit um, embarrassed about that because we're all moon women, you know. I certainly don't have, you know, claim to that over any other woman. But how it came to be was one of my students started this page on Facebook, um, I think it was about 2010. And she felt that she didn't want to continue with it and her intuition said offer it to me so at first I was reticent I kind of thought oh you know um, to be honest I felt I had enough on my plate <laughs> but my intuition said take it on and it was the best thing I've ever done because um, what what happened was this community just started um, you know like a vortex around this page at, at a pace that I couldn't imagine. It's now over half a million uh, followers of my daily lunar blog. That's but it was 7,000, yeah, when she handed it over. So yes, I'm very grateful to be called the Moon Woman. <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic. And so what is Goddess Wisdom? If you were trying to explain to somebody who was new to this, what would you say Goddess wis Wisdom is? Absolutely. It is the ancient uh, feminine wisdom, the women's wisdom that was handed down from the elder women down through the lineages uh, up until the Roman Empire when it was outlawed. So this is information that is every woman's birthright when she starts cycling with the moon and all the indigenous cultures would, you know, ensure that girls got this um, mentoring of what it is to be a woman and i'm not just speaking about you know the physiological changes that happen in puberty which is what we get yeah. but the mystical um you know things that happen within within all the subtle senses you know with the lunar phases and with our own fertility cycle um so it's really about the wisdom of the cycles and understanding how the natural cycles affect us energetically emotionally mentally and physically it's quite amazing really given that this has been uh, suppressed, if you like, for 2,000 years, um, that this is still inert in us and still present in us. Um, what can people do to get back in touch with these latent abilities? And do we all still have them? Absolutely. Um, well, for starters, sight the moon. Um, you know, if you sight the moon on a regular basis, it will help to balance your endocrine system, your hormones, increasing um, fertility, regulating your periods if you're still bleeding. Uh, for women that are no longer, um, you know, physically fertile, you do continue to energetically cycle so you can look to the dark moon phase which is two weeks after full moon as your energetic period and give yourself some downtime uh, for the women that are bleeding this is a really good time to order takeout or cook extra the rest of the month and put some away don't try and go into a shopping center or you'll come out completely fried on an energetic level you know um, it's okay to sit the kids in front of a video at dark moon just take extra self-care because that's the time of the month we're most likely to feel down comforty pick a fight with our partners so that's a time for extreme self-care so how did you get back in touch with your inner knowledge um, what was it that triggered it in you desperation and in, in a word I, I got down on my knees one night and I said to the universe if you want me to be a woman send me some role models and they did within two weeks I met a beautiful elder woman called Jennifer Powell wow. and this um, transpired with me being initiated into um, you know a circle of women up in the mountains and I I left my life I just it made more sense to me than anything I'd ever heard and I just I wanted more it was like having a first bite of the apple and then realizing what I hadn't got right and so for people who um, are new to this clearly they could um, have a look at your book if you want to tell us a little bit about that um, but sure. what, what can they do in terms of finding people who, who are kindred spirits or locally who might want to be able to help them so maybe you could Absolutely. tell us about that as well 
Yeah. Look, um, in terms of connecting with uh, women that are, you know, sort of embracing the cycles and ancient feminine wisdom, yes. um, they can Google red tents, okay? Because um, the Moon Lodge is where women used to gather, uh, whether you know it as the red tent or the Moon Lodge. There are many directories now. There is a, a UK red tent directory. I have one on my website, which is a global directory, so they can head to themoonwoman.com. Um, there's uh, another directory in America set up by Elisa Stark, whether um, Deanna Alarm in Israel has another directory. So they're, they're popping up all over the yeah. place. So just Google Red Tent it's and you'll brilliant. find your near circle. It's, it is just global, it's isn't it? global phenomena. Yeah, my course, I teach women to run Red Tents um, and it's trained women in 43 countries now. So it's just, it's like wow. wildfire because there's such a need. And when women realize the value of what it gives them, um, it just... I can't imagine not having circle, you know, once, yeah. once you have that communal practice and you experience the support and the benefits of that, um, yeah, life, life is so much easier. Sure. So in terms of the book, um, it's called Goddess Wisdom. It's basically a comprehensive handbook of all the ancient sacred feminine wisdom teachings and practices. Uh, there's lots of experiential processes to empower women of all ages, and it's out on June 6th with Hay House, along with an online course that women can do. That is fantastic. Tanishka, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us and to share thank some you. of your wisdom with all of us. Thank we all benefit. And good luck with the book. We're very excited to have it. I can say that it's, uh, I've had a sneaky peeky preview. I'm very lucky, yeah. and it's, uh, it's brilliant. So. Thanks very much indeed for talking to us. Thank you so much. Blessings. Blessings.